Another type of equilibrium constant calculation is one in which you are required to use your equilibrium constant to find values that you would be able to use in your table to find your final answer. So a typical example is this one that we have here where we've been told that the equilibrium constant for this reaction at this temperature is 4 and we are told that unknown amounts of X2 and Y2 are placed in a sealed or an empty container which means that the initial quantity of XY3 is 0 and at equilibrium it is found that the concentration of Y2 and XY3 are both 0 0.4 we are asked to find what these two unknown amounts that we started with are. We start doing that by using our equilibrium constant formula to find that the concentration at equilibrium of X2 is 0 0.625. We can then substitute that value directly into the concentration in our table 0 0.625. The question has stated that we have a volume of 2 cubic decimeters and that means that we can use this formula number of moles is equal to concentration times volume. So we multiply each concentration by 2 to find the equilibrium number of moles which means that we have 1.25 moles of X2 at equilibrium, 0 0.8 moles of Y2 at equilibrium and 0 0.8 moles of x, y, 3 at equilibrium. Now, since we know that we started with 0 moles of x, y, 3 and ended with 0.8 moles, that means that we know that we must have formed in the reaction 0 0.8 moles of x, y, 3. We can then see that the ratio of x, y, 3 to x, 2 is 2 to 1, which means that we must have used up half that amount, half of 0 0.8 0 0.4 in this reaction. We can also see that X2 reacts to Y2 in a ratio of 1 to 3, so 3 times 0 0.4, 1.2 moles of Y2 must have reacted. What, then we, what we can tell then is that if we end with 1.25 moles at equilibrium after having lost 0 0.4, that means that we must have started with 1.65 moles of x2 and if we end up with 0.8 after having lost 1.2 moles we must have started with 2 moles of y2. I have put the entire question in the description for this video below but essentially what we are now seeing is that we can use our equilibrium formula to find unknown concentrations that we can then substitute into our table. We can use number of moles as concentration times volume to find our equilibrium number of moles and then because we know that only these two reactants were added at the start of this reaction we can determine that there was zero XY3 which means that we are then able to determine the amount of XY3 that was formed and we can use our ratio in which these things react to find how much of each reacted and then just work backwards to find our starting quantities.